Now that's all new at 6 o'clock, tens of millions of renters can breathe a sigh of relief for at least another month. The new stimulus package includes more money to help with back rent and extends the eviction moratorium. But as Matthew Torres shows us, not everyone has been applying for this help. The faith community was working really well pre-pandemic. If the church is the hands and feet of God, Christ Church in Alexandria has been on a sprint. Since March, they've fielded 1,300 calls from families trying to make ends meet. We're also making sure people have adequate food, diapers, cleaning supplies. Outreach Director Melanie Gray says they've also been offering some money to help with rent in her community. Up to 384,000 households in Virginia are at risk of eviction. So in many instances, we're giving $250, $300 to try to put a stop to the process. The newly signed COVID-19 relief bill, which includes $25 billion for rental assistance, has been a saving grace. Approximately $600 million of that will go towards Virginia. It also extends the national eviction ban until the end of January. There are still a lot of people who are unaware that this uh, rental assistance exists. But Michelle Crocker of the Northern Virginia Affordable Housing Alliance says thousands of renters and landlords are missing out on money meant for them. She admits outreach has been challenging when the area is so diverse. Some people, understandably, who are terrified of any kind of notice because they think it may be further, um, you know, additional information about evicting them. And so sometimes they don't pay attention. The group has created an online toolkit that's also being handed out to explain the eviction process and exactly how to get help, all spelled out in other languages as well. There is a language barrier. We need people who can speak multiple languages. We have found that not everyone um, is literate in their language. Northern Virginia organizations like Christ Church are helping ramp up efforts to spread the reach of the message, especially when government help is only temporary. But I'm also realistic in that I know it's not the end all be all. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.